I think we've reached like peak woke outrage. I, I put a video link in our private chat um, of Charlie Kirk. Um, so he is going to explain yeah. during an ad read his thought process when he opens his refrigerator. And it just goes to show you how <laughs> yeah. rotten these people's fucking brains are. Like, I, I got a kick out of this clip. And which one is this one? Charlie, Charlie Kirk. Kirk is the one from Turning Point one. USA. Oh, I mean, allow me. You'll know him. Uh, he of the giant cranium. Uh, massive yes, head. Big, yeah. big, large, large in size. Uh, expanding. Well, just catch a bottle. <laughs> See, this is shit that's pissing me off. <laughs> <laughs> show is brought to you by blackout coffee it is powered by blackout coffee family owned 100 percent committed to conservative values from sourcing the beans to the roasting process customer support go to blackoutcoffee.com slash charlie that is blackoutcoffee.com slash charlie super happy to partner with them 100 percent endorsement check it out for all your coffee needs we are now having to i'm i'm guilty of this i i'm going through my kitchen i'm going to my refrigerator and i'm starting to ask the question well is this ketchup bottle woke is this mustard i mean literally <laughs> we're at the place now where we have to go through is the company that makes this and so blackoutcoffee.com slash charlie i'm sure all many of you are coffee drinkers oh he's living God. a very happy and fulfilled <laughs> life friends very happy <laughs> <laughs> I, I honestly can't imagine doing these type of ads like i get like the, ge the general uh. podcast like i get the general podcast ads like sam cedar does them on the majority report they're like you know they do the ad for like my tushy the bidet or whatever do but they like, really they they, they it's I very funny to hear they're awesome so i, I can't but I like I get, I, I, I get, get the, I get, I, I don't, but uh, I get the general podcast ad, like just like flat out. This is a product they're paying us. Uh, they let us try it out. We think it's a good product. That's the most important part, though. Like, like, is, is your catch a woke, Matt? That's that's what we need. But to that, know. like, like that's people... the thing. Like the fact that you would have to like. <laughs> Like make sure, like it's one thing to be like, you know, the this company isn't doing anything inherently bad and against my values, but it's another thing for the brand of the company to be like about your politics. Like, what the fuck is conservative coffee? Uh, are they? Are, are I mean, are I? I don't even know what that means. Are they? Uh, I guarantee uh, you, it's cheap as hell. It sucks shit. They barely put any effort into it, and they know that's going to sell because it's particularly branded towards a certain audience that are going to buy it no matter what. Like that's that's what that to me that's what that means. Is if they, you know. they know it doesn't matter what the fuck's in there because these people are going to eat it up. If they're going to buy it, it's because it's on Charlie Kirk's show or whoever else is on. You're you're, you're all it. skirting past the, the most important point. Are you all haunted by your condiments? <laughs> I, I feel like he's haunted by his condiments. <laughs> like he owns a to be, that's just him putting on a show. Like he's like Char Charlie Kirk is one of these guys. He, he knows he's full of shit. He he hundred percent mm -hmm. knows he's full of shit. So it's just it's part of the act. Like it's just oh I I I'm doing this thing now where I'm looking at my condiment today. He okay. I'm gonna bring this tweet up from him because I, I think I did I retweet it. I think I did. It was so ridiculous. Um. I, I did. I just don't know how you quantify how woke your ketchup is. Like, like at what point is it too woke? Charlie Kirk is facing one. Or sorry, Charlie Kirk. Donald Trump is facing 100 years in prison for a paperwork dispute. Someone tweeted out how stupid this is by doing some other comparisons. Bill Cosby went to prison for making bad drinks. <laughs> oh, went to prison yeah. because he sent a couple letters. John Wayne Grayski went to prison for uh, having some kids stay at his house. Like wow. th it's. He, Charlie Kirk knows how dishonest. He has to know he's being incredibly dishonest with shit like this. Of course he knows. Like these people are just pure grifters. It is, and it, it's just disgusting. Like I the, mean, your ketchup, your oh, ketchup yeah. actually probably is woke because it's probably Heinz. <laughs> and uh, oh. John Kerry owns Heinz ketchup. He's the 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 heir to the Heinz ketchup. Uh, throne. So wow. uh, he married into the Heinz. That. That is he I married not know into that the. Either. He married into the Heinz ketchup family. You Lord know, I will Seven. say, though, you know, Charlie Kirk is ridiculous. But to his, to be fair to him, you know, I was using some sour cream the other day. The brand was Daisy and I just got fascist <laughs> vibes from it. And I was I didn't feel good about it. <laughs> I swear is unserious, unserious. <laughs> oh, and by the way, if you go to that uh, coffee company's website, the first thing that you see is um an advertisement with Dan Bongino's square head. It just it's all everything about it is amazing. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. It's it's good stuff. Audience. Somebody... 
<laughs> what, what, what y'all got going on? What y'all want to talk about? What do you want us to talk about? <laughs> we very the clearly <laughs> don't have I'm shit. The time. We want to talk about we'll catch up, okay? That, that's okay. what the show's about to Someone we're, save me. Whoever <laughs> thought that we'd make it to coffee. episode 28 and we're talking about woke ketchup. <laughs> <laughs> you know, we should, we should, we should actually just fuck it. Fuck it. We should sell woke ketchup. We should just fucking do it. <laughs> we should just sell fucking woke ketchup. How, how hard could it be? We probably have some listener. Who works on like a tomato farm who could squash them um, tomatoes together and make us some ketchup? You have that, that one farmer, that one farmer Kowalski. viewer. Kowalski. 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 How hard go. would it be to, to make a couple batches of ketchup for us? <laughs>